There are many myths about the Virgo constellation. One of the more popular ones is in the Greek mythology. Persephone, the spring goddess, was taken by Hades, god of the underworld. Because of her unparalleled beauty. Her mother Demeter, goddess of the harvest, was so upset when she found out that she abandoned her duties to the harvest, which caused all the crops to wither and die. Upon hearing this, Zeus ordered Hades to release Persephone for the months of March to August to be with her mother, and for the other month she has to stay with Hades in the underworld. This is why the Virgo constellation only appears in the spring months. The ruling planet of Virgo is Mercury. This sign of the zodiac is a representation of information and reflects Mercury organizational nature. Mercury moves around the zodiac so fast that it appears to be going backwards. Virgo is a part of the zodiac constellation. It is the sixth constellation and also largest in the group. People born August 23rd through the September 22nd are considered to be Virgos. In the zodiac, Virgo is surrounded by Leo and Libra. Spica is the brightest star in the constellation Virgo, the 15th brightest star in the nighttime sky, and it is 260 light years away from the Earth. Perima, also known as Gamma Virginis, is a binary star. It consists of two stars with the same apparent magnitude, and it is 39 light years away from the Sun. Vendemiatrix, also known as Epsilon Virginis, is a giant star with a stellar classification of G83. It is 109 light years away from the Earth. Zavi Java, also known as Beta Virginis, is larger and more massive than the Sun. In between the Virgo constellation and the Coma Berenices constellation lies the Virgo cluster. There are about 2,000 galaxies inside the cluster. The I galaxy is a pair of galaxies that is 52 million light years away. It is a barred lenticular galaxy and has a highly disorientated disk with long tidal tails due to interaction with other galaxies. The Siamese twins, also known as butterfly galaxies, are a set of spiral galaxies about 60 million light years away. These galaxies are in the process of colliding and merging with each other, which is where their name comes from. Markarian's chain is a stretch of galaxies that form part of the Virgo cluster and has at least eight galaxies in it. This galaxy gets its name because when it's viewed from the Earth, it looks like a long chain. Messier 49 is the brightest galaxy in the Virgo cluster and the first galaxy to be discovered within the cluster. It is an elliptical galaxy that contains 5,900 clusters and is believed to be 10 billion years old. This galaxy is believed to have a supermassive black hole with 565 million solar masses at its core. Messier 58 is a bar spiral galaxy. It belongs in the Virgo cluster and is one of the brightest galaxies in it. It is discovered in April 1779 by Charles Messier. Messier 84 is a lenticular galaxy located near the inner core of the Virgo cluster. It has a disk of fast rotating stars, which means that it likely contains a supermassive black hole at the center. NGC 4526 is a lenticular galaxy that belongs in the Virgo cluster. The galaxy has a visual magnitude of 10.7 and is about 55 million light years away. 
3C273 is a quasar inside Virgo. Quasars are the brightest, most distant object in the known universe, and they can burn with the energy of a trillion suns. This quasar is actually the first one ever to be identified, as well as the brightest and most luminous quasar in the sky. The Sombrero Galaxy is an unbarred spiral galaxy in the constellation Virgo, located 28 million light years away from Earth. It has a bright nucleus and a prominent dust lane in its inclined disk. The dark dust lane in the bulge gives the galaxy the appearance of a sombrero. The galaxy's most prominent feature is the dust lane that surrounds the center. Most of the cold atomic hydrogen gas in the dust lies within the ring. Even though Virgo is the second largest constellation in the sky, it is not the easiest to find. The easiest way to find Virgo is to use the Big Dipper. If you use a star at the end of the handle of the Big Dipper, it points to the star Arcturus. Arcturus can then be used to locate Spica.